we're making the transition into summer now, so I need to kind of go through my clothes and like, you know, get rid of the winter ones, bring the summer ones out, throw away anything that's old or out of style or just god awful. So that's what we're gonna do today. Last time I did this, I pulled everything out and made a huge pile, but I'm thinking this time I'm gonna be a little more organized about it and we're gonna go drawer by drawer because I like the way that everything is laid out, but I don't yeah, I don't know if I want to make this like a ginormous mess or not. I think that I'm going to try on some things, kind of throw things away. Well, I don't know. I, I'm going to say throw away, but when I say throw away, that just means in my mind it's not going to be here anymore. I always donate it. I'm going to grab my sweatshirts because they're in a closet out there, and I have some more clothes in there, and there's another drawer over here that has clothes. So those I'm going to pull out, but this dresser we're going to go through drawer at a time. So. Okay, so I have a bunch of clothes here. The only thing that I didn't take out is my winter coats. I have four. I think I'm gonna get rid of one of them because they're like, it's kind of a trash winter coat. Something else I forgot to mention is I literally have to do this on days where I'm like feeling heartless. Like I'm very heartless right now. I don't know if you guys get that too, but like some days I'm more like emotionally attached to things. Not today. I'm like ready to throw almost everything away. I am extremely unconfident in my body recently. I am not happy with the way I look. I'm not impressed with how I look in any of these clothes. Hate all my clothes. They're all old and I never get like new clothes. I'm literally over it. So part of me just wants to chuck the entire dresser and live in a big t-shirt and biker shorts for the rest of my life. We're actually going to come back to this crap and start with the drawers. All of the clothes are out of the drawers and we're gonna start with this one and we'll come back to the crap behind us. So we're gonna go through like one by one kind of. This is my workout drawer. This is like t-shirts and stuff that are like on the nicer side. Like there's a bunch of t-shirts here but they're like ones like big t-shirts. These are more like feminine t-shirts, crop tops, stuff like that. This is all like pajamas and whatever. Underwear, socks, slippers, stuff like that in this drawer. Pants, bathing suits. This is kind of the everything drawer. It has like hats, makeup, bandanas, stuff like that in it. So we'll go through one by one and kind of chuck things or just reorganize. a few different piles going on. I have some shirts that I'm gonna crop and wear. Stuff I'm giving away, stuff I need to try on. Here's a sock pile. I also have this bag of socks that I'm gonna go through and see which ones you wanna keep and which ones you wanna get rid of. I mean, it's summer right now, so I'm gonna keep most of them because I wear them in the winter, but some of these, like, I just haven't touched in years. I just feel like, let's, you know, get rid of them. These are awful, so we're gonna get rid of those and replace them with these. There's not even that many in here, actually. I'm pretty sure these have like holes in them, yeah. I used to wear these literally every single day. They have like holes in the bottom. Where did I even get all these fuzzy socks from? I don't, I'm pretty sure these were my sister's and I accidentally took them when I moved. But I feel like I asked her and I feel like they told me that they're not there. So I don't know where these are from. If anybody is watching, these are yours. Please come get them. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going through them. I've already put holes in two, two pairs of them. I'm gonna make that drawer back there, the winter drawer. So I'm gonna start putting in long sleeve shirts, pants, probably these socks and stuff. I feel like that will help clean up a lot of the area.
I feel like I'm like halfway there. Kind of mind blowing because I also feel like I haven't made a den in like anything. But some of these are piles. So we're getting there. The actual dresser, I believe, is completely done. Looking good, let's go through. This is my like underwear, bras, and whatever, so I'm not gonna show you that. But my pajama drawer is like, it used to overflow, so that's much better. My shirts also used to overflow, so I feel like I did great progress on this. My pants are mediocre. Um, I don't really have that many summer shorts. These are all like pattern fun pants. This is just a pair of sweatpants. Sweat shorts, the literal one pair of jean shorts that I have, and then overalls. I believe I'm gonna make an order on like some different shorts and stuff because I don't really have like anything for summer. After doing this clean out, I definitely need to like, you know, invest in some summer clothes. Um, oh wait, I haven't even done my bikinis. This is the bikini drawer. Honestly, I went through this not too long ago, so I don't think that it's gonna change much, but it can at least be cleaned up a little bit. And I haven't done that bottom drawer, which is literally just like everything, like everything extra. And then my workout drawer, which is looking killer. I could use some new workout sets. The ones I have are kind of dull and like, you know, they're just like faded and very dark. I feel like we're on to pastels and stuff. So I should probably invest in some more workout sets. Right now, this is what we have. This is the try-on pile. Um, probably gonna grow some more while we go through all these. This is things I'm gonna crop or like try on and if I don't wanna even waste my time cropping it, I'll just give it away. This is the get rid of pile so far. I did decide to get rid of this uh, winter jacket, which I've had for just so many years. I'm trying to be very heartless about things and like understand that I don't want all my pictures to be the same. So if I don't get rid of this winter coat that I've had since 2016, then I'm going to look like I've been living in 2016 for the rest of my life. Plus I have three brand new winter coats. Let's give it to someone else who needs a winter coat. Or just throw it away. I got some hats I think my mom will like, some dresses and sweaters and whatever, so probably going to continue to grow, but that's where we're at. And then I haven't gone through my sweatshirts yet or any of my dresses. So we'll do bikinis, that random drawer, and then go through all this stuff. Bikini haul. Not all of these are bikinis, but most of them are. This is the first one, which I think is due time to get rid of. I've had it for like two years. It's starting to just smell like a pool no matter how many times I wash it. It has like roughly boot. Maybe I should just order this one again because the only thing that's like wrong with it is I don't know what the heck these are. It has like stains on it on both parts. I don't actually know what that is though. We'll probably get rid of it. Maybe I'll just order another one because I do really like that bathing suit. I got this one last year for my trip to Hawaii. It looks like this. And then the top is like a half-half kind of thing. It's so cute. I love butterflies. So I was kind of all over this one when I saw it on the website. For anyone wondering, I get most of my bathing suits from this website called Zaffle. It's kind of like Shein. However, I did just learn that apparently you know, sketchy websites like that. Cause like a lot of problems with like landfill of clothes. So I don't particularly recommend buying your swimsuits from there, not or like anything from there. Now that I know like how harmful it is for the planet. But that is where I got these from. I didn't know at the time. I love this one. It's a cow print. The problem is it's so like tiny. Like it just doesn't cover enough. Like I'm just I'm not that confident. But I love the print. I just wish yeah, I wish it covered more. I just got this one as well, which is a bandeau top. And then it just has like high-waisted bottoms, which I think is so cute. And I also have it in green. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's just the one piece that looks like this. I just don't really, I don't think I've ever worn it. Like maybe once. It's just not really my style anymore. Whatever. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get rid of this one too. I wanted it to look good, but it doesn't. It has a cute crossbody. The top is cute. Ideally, it would be cute, but again, not that confident in my body. I think I'm also gonna do away with this one, mainly because, you know, it's seen better days. I've had it, this is like my third summer with it, I think, and I wore it a lot when I first got it. I might keep the bottoms, actually. It's just the top that's like looking not that good. I love this bikini. Just basic high-waisted black bottoms. And then this top, it's like this. Like, you get the idea. This is literally just a one piece that is like a floral pattern. Here is a pink bikini that's just high-waisted top. I feel like a lot of my bikinis are like a similar cut, just different colors and designs. I got this one for Hawaii striped kind of brown tones and the bottom looks like this. Once you get like more tan in the summer, it's a really nice color. I think I'm gonna do away with this swimsuit mainly because I think I've worn it like once, but it's just a really like, uh, 
and then the top just looks like this but it's not really my style it's literally brand new and i know someone would like it so i'm just gonna do away with that one what is that honestly i should just like cut it off and have it like re-sewn it would look so much better if it was just like straight across like that i think it's supposed to be like tied in a knot when you do it it looks like just a little ball of fabric and it bounces or it's extremely annoying so i always just tuck it up but i honestly should just cut it and like re-sew that part because it would look a lot better the bottoms are the same they just look like this then there's this one this one's super flattering and it's more it like covers more then I have this one, which is like a high-waisted one again, and it has these little cuts to give it like a different kind of like patchy look, I guess. And the top looks like this, very different. I like it a lot. Um, it's got like a little peplum on it. This one gives me like very much I'm a toddler energy. At the same time, it also is very like just girly and like cutesy, so. This is a one piece that has cuts out on the other side. This is just a t-shirt that I wear over the green bikini. Just another black, normal one piece. So those are my bathing suits. Let's go through through my sweatshirts now. Some of these sweatshirts I have just because they're like sentimental to me. So I think everything that's, you know, like that, I'm gonna just put in like a memory box, I guess. I already have a pile going with some t-shirts, something like that. Like this Ariana one I got from a concert, but I don't wear it that much. So I'm just gonna put it in like the sentimental box. I have this Mickey Mouse one, which again, I literally won't throw away because I spent $60 on it. So that's kind of annoying, but I do like work out in it, I guess. I got this one from Boston. Obviously. I'm embarrassed I even said that, but I'm gonna keep this one. It's semi-new. I got it on like one of my first dates with Sebastian, so it's still sentimental. Like the majority of these are sentimental to me. I don't even, wear, I wear like the same two. I wear the blue one and the black one, that's all I wear. This was Sebastian's and he gave it to me. I'm gonna, it, I kind of ruined it one day when I was painting and I never put it on again. I was so upset with myself. So unless he wants to keep it, I'm trashing that one. I literally bought this one and then <laughs> I put my arm in a pen and it bled. I couldn't, oh my God. Part of me wants to check this one just cause I know I probably won't wear it again, but I also just bought it. So we will hold on to it. And if I don't wear it by the next time I clean out the closet, Goodbye. I just got this jacket from a thrift store in North Carolina, so we're gonna keep this one, give it a little bit more time. This one's very old and I never wear it anymore, but I think it's just because like, obviously it hasn't been fall for a while. Keeping this one because Sebastian got it for me as a gift. This one is goodbye. I have contemplated this for the last three times, going through my sweatshirts, and today is the day. I just got this one. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Oh my God, did I already spill on it? What is wrong with me? Why can't I have any sweatshirts with no stains? Hello? I just feel like this is not my color. Is it? These are literally the three that I wear. I wear this blue plain one, this black plain one, and this green plain one. And honestly, I never wear any other sweatshirts, so why don't I just have those three? I wish that I didn't have like sentimental value because I would just trash everything in my closet and keep the same four things I wear. This one I keep because <laughs> I wear it if it's cold out and I go running because I've stained the living crap out of it and I try to get it out and I love this sweatshirt but I'll never wear it any other time than when I'm working out because I don't mind if it gets ruined because I already ruined it. I'm keeping this one because I literally just bought it and I love it. Honestly, part of me thinks that I should chuck this one. I'm gonna put it in the sentimental pile because I never wear it but I also love friends but also my ex bought it for me so... I may just do away with that one. <laughs> Obviously not chucking the one that I literally got from Oahu. If this sweatshirt hasn't been through the most, do you see that stain? <laughs> I originally kept this as a joke. I'm not even a Big Time Rush fan. I mean, I guess to some degree I am, because like, but Logan is not my favorite by any means. I just find this so funny. It's just for the memes. I keep it for the memes. I'm upset. I'm literally only getting rid of one sweatshirt. Part of me wants to get rid of this one because I don't really like it that much. Maybe it's just if Sebastian wants to wear this one. I feel like he would look so much better than me. I'm gonna go hang up all the sweatshirts that I'm keeping and kind of organize my piles, and then we're gonna go through my dresses and almost be done. <laughs> my life feels crazy. Where are we going? Okay, we're doing this. <gasps> Oh my god. Okay. Ah! This should be fairly easy because like I know what all these look like and yeah. I love these so we're gonna keep them. I feel iffy on this. I wear it over my bathing suit sometimes but part of me is like 
we'll put it in the try on pile. Just got this in Hawaii, so we're gonna keep that. I like this sweater. Pretty sure I have this one because there's a dress that matches it, so I guess we'll keep that one. This is a bodysuit. This shirt goes with that skirt over here that I already showed you. I do love the sunflower dress, but does this scream like, hi, I'm 14? Please comment down below if I should keep the sunflower dress or not. I'm gonna hold on to it until you guys let me know if I should keep it or not. This blue dress is what the sweater's for. I don't think I want this dress anymore. I think I'm gonna pass that one on. This one's gone. I love this dress. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, why do I have like so many dresses and skirts? Holy crap, I don't even wear these. Okay, here's a million different skirts. Guess I'll have to try these on. This needs to be like in with the winter stuff. This probably does as well. I thought I was gonna throw away more than that. Almost done. We just have to go through the maybe pile and then crop the shirts and we're done. So let's do that. All right, I'm just gonna try everything on over this sports bra and pan. I look like a toddler in this dress. Holy crap, this one's tight. Uh, ew. I think we're gonna have to pass just because I don't think I can button them. These are awful. <laughs> They're just not flattering on me. I am now going to take the time to organize these piles and I'll be back at some point, maybe tonight, maybe even tomorrow to crop those shirts with you. How about we start with a minor loss if I'm messing up? This one. I ultimately don't really care if I mess up any of these shirts, but the thing is, if I mess up... Oh god, this is horrible. If I mess up one of these other shirts that are like semi-new, I could have given it to somebody who would have worn it. That's why I don't want to mess this up. This one, nobody but me is going to wear. So, full set, let's do it. These scissors are so dull, so... I may struggle a bit. That one came out really ratchet. Ew, it's, <laughs> it's so sideways. I think I'm gonna hold off on cropping these three shirts for now. I don't wanna like cut it and then regret it, you know? So for now, I'm gonna stick with these two tank tops. If I crop them, then maybe it will happen in another video. Maybe it won't. But if it does, you can know by subscribing and then you'll know when I'm, when I post it, because you'll be notified. I love you. <sighs> Subscribe. Goodbye.